really quiet morning in the hostel which was absolutely lovely and we have just walked to the starting point for the first of our two free walking tours that we'll be doing in Rome over the next few days. So we are right by the site of Trajan's column right now and the walk it took us probably about 20 or so minutes to get here but genuinely every single intersection I was just like oh what's that building oh what's that building that looks nice that looks nice yeah you thought everything was important which I'm sure it is and we'll find <laughs> out more about on the walking tour exactly so how yeah. are you feeling about being in Rome for the first time it's extremely surreal um, and about everything as beautiful as every what ever said to me that it is so um, yeah super excited to see more of it I think it's starting to hit us that we're traveling. I know it sounds weird that like it hasn't really sunk in yet, but it's just a strange feeling to be going off around the world for a year. It is. But every now and then you just have moments of, holy crow, I can't believe this is happening. Is this my real life? <laughs> so we are very excited despite our calm demeanors. <laughs>
dollars or ten euros per person for the tour. So our guide was absolutely incredible. He had so much historical knowledge, and to top it all off, he was hilarious. Really, really funny. I think for me it was really fascinating because I like growing up really learning about a lot of the classical civilizations and things like that. So it's a really get kind of a look at the inner workings of ancient Rome, actually see kind of up front just how much, like how the city in initially was built and then got on top of that and on top of that and on top of that as Rome has developed over time. It was just really, really interesting, I thought. I think probably one of the most interesting bits though, um, I think this is due to kind of new archaeological technology, is the fact that actually a lot of the statues that you see in a lot of these sites Initially they were painted, that was something I had no knowledge of before but it turns out that due to certain materials now becoming available then they actually see like actual pigments and stuff like that that were included but because they were biodegradable, because those were the only materials that they had at the time, then, um, then it's just meant that they, like the colours there only have like a very residual amount um, left in the statues now so they all just appear their natural color. Yeah, it's crazy to think that Rome was a very colorful city, super bright, because now everything that remains is white and creamish colored, and it was just so vibrant before. Absolutely. So what, what other takeaways do you get from it? I've been here before, as I mentioned, and I was just reminded of the fact that a lot of these buildings used to be covered in marble, but of course, to the Colosseum later on as well. We've had a super chill afternoon. We had a lovely coffee with Nick's friends. And now... Da -da -da. Now is one of the moments I've been most looking forward to, which is finally getting to go into the Colosseum.
finished our tour of the Coliseum. We had a ticket for 5.45 p.m., but we went to line up at 5.30 as instructed. The ticket is good for 24 hours and it includes the Forum and Palatine Hill. However, we were so fascinated by the Coliseum itself that we took the full amount of time, which is an hour and 15 minutes in the Coliseum. It felt a little bit rushed to be honest. So we're really grateful that the ticket is for 24 hours because we have time to come back tomorrow and go into the forum then. What did you think of the tour? Because this is your first time seeing the Coliseum. Whereas I've seen it before, but I am pretty sure that we did not spend this amount of time in the Coliseum when I came the first time. It's amazing. I'd heard a number of things and I read a number of things about it before, but yeah, I think just being able to actually see it in the flesh, being able to kind of soak up the atmosphere and realize the grandeur of it, the kind of sense of occasion of like how much of an icon of Roman civilization this was. It's just really, really impressive um, to think that, you know, this was a 55,000 capacity arena and to be honest, like no one I think has really kind of made any changes to how one does like modern stadium nowadays really is testament to just how right they got it first time really if they broke don't fix it beyond that though it's just kind of the splendor of all the shows they only did a few shows every year but they would have like incredible attractions like according to the audio guide anyway that they managed to catch a whale and so as a result like on one of the shows that they ended up having then they had like they actually built a wooden whale and out of it came like 55 bears. Why bears? Who knows? The very fact that they were even able to put that kind of stuff on to be able to even put like a set or a scene on and as part of the occasion beyond just being like, yeah, some gladiators that fight was just incredible. And by seeing the underground section underneath the arena, then you get really a sense of almost like just kind of the machinery behind it, the real feat of engineering that it was, and how in some ways because of all like the tractors and the pulleys and the weapons that were in use, it actually kind of relates in a way to a lot of kind of modern theater and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's incredible that they had trap doors back then and these are things that we're still using. Even the fact that the Coliseum is divided into different sections based on class. I mean, we kind of do the same thing now, except for it's based on ticket price. The closer you are to the stage, the more you paid. And back then, it was the more important you were in society, the wealthier you were, you had assigned seating closer to the stage. Back then, tickets were all free, and you just knew where you were supposed to sit based on your class. My arm is really getting tired of holding this. My arm is shaking. <laughs> Another thing that is just really interesting, I think this is kind of just how I'm feeling about the city as a whole. Well. Like, you know, the Coliseum is 2,000 years old. such a part of life even now is incredible and to be honest with you that seems to be really the case with a lot of the landmarks and things like that the systems that they put in place they still actually do have an effect on the city in general like we found out today that uh, with all of the fountains that you get to see across the city that they're, they're all full of drinking water, they're free for everybody to use, but they are actually as a result of the aqueduct system that was created in Roman times. So the fact that, you know, it's been standing for thousands of years and it can still have modern uses really shows the 
in Land Pretty, the Romans genuinely thought that empire would last forever, so they built everything to last. That's one of my favorite things about Rome is the fact that you can refill your water bottle for free in the streets. Because mm -hmm. normally when you go on vacation, you spend so much money on ensuring that you have clean drinking water. And here it's so readily available and in such a historical manner. One of the best things. But this has been a thoroughly enjoyable Enjoy. look at ancient oh. Rome. Um, but now we're gonna take a little bit of a taste of modern Italy. So we've been recommended a restaurant by Sai and Francesca, which is in the Trivastira district, um, which is where you've got a lot of very classic style restaurants and things like that. It's and kind of the hit place, apparently, that kind of neighborhood. Exactly. It doesn't allow for reservations, but we're going to chance our arm anyway, so uh, yeah, hopefully we get to enjoy some absolutely delicious food. I ordered the Amatriciana. Very, very excited to give this a try. This is what we came to Italy for. So good. Ordered carbonara. And our friends who recommended this have been raving about it. So I have high expectations. And that is a wrap on our first day in Rome and our first official full day of our Around the World adventure. Thank you all for joining and until next time, take care. And keep smiling.